In our first episode, we bring you along on our travel day after deciding to move from our suburban lifestyle in Southern California to the remote beaches of Costa Rica. Travel days can be the worst, especially during a global pandemic with two kids, two dogs, and all of your material possessions. We try our best to make the most out of any adventure, even when we feel like a traveling circus. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is the day. We are finally packed up and ready to make this trip. It has been a long time in the making. The day is finally here. And we're moving to Costa Rica. There's no question that the events over the last year definitely precipitated this change, but I'm gonna have to believe that this was a long time in the making from the very first road trip that Marjorie and I took. I was inspired. I was inspired by the adventure, the sense of excitement around every corner. Not knowing exactly what to expect, but understanding that there's so much more out there. And I think we have become increasingly frustrated just in our day-to-day -day lives and just wondering what else is there. You know, what, what else is the meaning of life if it's not to work from paycheck to paycheck, expend all of our energy doing things for other people and waiting until the most important years of our lives to finally take a moment for ourselves and do something that makes us extraordinarily happy as a result we're moving to Costa Rica we uh, have a mix of emotions excitement a little bit of fear but we know that the road is going to take care of us and we're going to find what we're looking for we're doing this for many reasons, but most importantly, it is to show our kids that bosses take risks, you know, that life isn't about being complacent and staying in your comfort zone. It's about finding out what happens when you push the limits and you try something new and you put yourself in uncomfortable situations. Um, it's been incredibly important for us to really be mindful about our connection to the outdoors and the wilderness and the best way of doing that is getting them out of civilization, going to places where the human capital is more important than the possessions that people have and that language assimilation is something that we should all strive to because it allows us to connect with other other people who are unlike ourselves and there's just really no way of doing that without experiential learning today is the culmination of every single trip uh, we have taken since the moment we met and no matter how long this journey takes six months or longer we know that it's going to be the best possible outcome for our entire family so the free range squad is about to mount up and tackle the biggest adventure of our lives. We have rented our house for six months. We have sold all of our stuff. Our possessions have been dwindled down into a small 10 by 12 storage. And the rest of our lives are right here with us in the back of this rental minivan that is going to be the first leg on the most epic adventure that the free range squad has ever taken so sit back strap in so that you can follow all of our adventures because we plan to document this entire journey so that you can all be right here with us so with that i shout peace love and we'll see you on the road Okay, so it's approximately 6.08 in the morning. We are on that Pacific Standard Time, as you can see. Uh, but this is going to be quite the adventure. Last time we were in Costa Rica, we had one carry-on luggage per person. And so now um, we've expanded our travel. And we are now having one luggage per person. And we have a checked luggage. We have 
our board bag with all of our hype gear and we have two dog kettles which are not gonna be fun to travel with yes. good morning princess oh did you sleep good no i sleeping beauty Los perros están en el coche. Buen día, mi familia. <laughs> Listos? What's up, y'all? How you doing, Gigi Box? You ready for a trip? What you cookie do? Are you ready for a trip, cookie do? Oh, well, we forgot to feed him. <laughs> now the car's gonna smell like salmon kibble! Yay! <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks so much for everything. Bye, right, you. Bye All right, Dad. Thanks for everything. See you in a little, a couple months. Oh. <laughs> No, no, we gotta wait because Gigi already looks good. Oh, of course. <laughs> bye bye! Gigi bye bye! Alright, we good to go? Z2G? Z2G! Z2G! It's time to go! Oh, it's cold! <laughs> Get it, Gigi. We made a quick stop at the old dog park right now so we can get these dogs a little relief before this flight. Uh, have not given them their medication yet. We're really trying to wait as long as possible, given the fact that Coco didn't necessarily respond well. I'll say she metabolized the medication pretty quick and uh, was ready to go in like three hours. So trying to wait as long as humanly possible before we give him this medicine, so get a little run in before we go. Cookie, make a dookie. <laughs> We're all waiting for you. We're all waiting for Koo to make a poo? How come mommy's not coming in here? Yeah. Mommy don't want to come in here with us? No. I'm watching the car. You're watching the car? Watching the car that we could all see from over. <laughs> Coco, you didn't make poo poo. What you gonna do? Okay, Coco is not pooping, so. Bad girl. Well, we don't have an accident on the plane. I don't know. We may be able to get one more opportunity in, but I think this is it, folks. So. Bad Coco, that's not good. You just went like, like poo poo, but Coco didn't. I know. Well, we're back on the road again. Los Angeles, the city of angels. Oh, yeah. All right, we got okay. departures right. we're looking for. Terminal six. six. Terminal six. We're getting dropped off. One adult, two kids, eight bags. That'll be fun. <laughs> Mommy wants a wifey. This is the whole crew. Gigi, right, how we doing? Hurry. Gigi, how we doing? We good? All right, guys. We'll see you in a little bit. So the computer system is actually down right now, and things are taking a little bit longer than normal. But you know what? The first part of the journey is already done. The whole crew is here.
time. 68B? You guys have so much stuff. How are you traveling with this much stuff? Did you bring your whole life here with you or what? Yeah. Basically? <laughs> It's a short ride. Okay, and then we go. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. There they go. Yes, we have made it through the security checkpoint, and we are now successfully on our way to gate 68, where we are going to take our flight to Liberia. We got it. Free range squad. Less bags. We got this. Our flight is actually boarding right now as we speak. So we are kind of cutting it close, but uh, on the bright side, it's less time waiting and the dogs have less of a travel time. So all works out well. Huh? You ready to do this? Yeah, yeah. We got our health certificate stamp. We got our carry-on luggages. This is how we do it when we're in the plane. Come on, boy. Go. The camera's just small. Come try this. I can help the next group. I can help the next group. Niños, buen tarde. Listos? So we are here. We have comfortably made it onto the airplane. However, we still don't know if the dogs are with us yet. <laughs> so we are waiting for an Alaska attendant to come and inform us that our dogs are in fact on the plane <laughs> and our precious cargo. And then and only then is Marjorie gonna take a little breath of fresh air. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe this will be it. Maybe this will be it. No, no. no. <laughs> Donde están los perros? Uh, en el avión. Yeah. Oh, Costa Rica. Are we hot? Are we hot? Are we hot? Are we hot? We're ready to go. Let's go. She's just back. We made it back, los perros. Bienvenidos a Costa Rica, los perros. Coco and Gigi made it, and you can see this is just how we roll. <laughs> Gigi is not happy. <laughs> Coco was a torture. You made it. You made Coco it. Coco doesn't Coco want that sagu. <laughs> Alright. All right, Last transition. Need a rental car so we can get up out of here, but things are going smoothly as is. So we're here to get this rental car and then we're out, bro. Alright. We are trying to get all of our stuff inside. Redoing the crates. Oh, I got those. Trying to fit into our rental car. The kids will not walk the dogs around. What do you mean? They don't walk. Bienvenidos a Costa Rica. So we are now our first stop we have made it safely and we are about to enjoy dinner at a little Look soda at here okay soda what soda are we at oh las, uh, las lomas rancho las lomas, rancho las lomas. Padre de Elizabeth. hey she's already eating what'd you get bean and cheese uh fresh tortilla <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching the first episode of the Free Range Squad vlog. This project is a culmination of my life's experience combined with my passion for video production and storytelling. My primary mission is to document our adventures in hopes that future generations will engage in a similar cultural exchange by walking in our footsteps and visiting the locations that have meant so much to us. As a result, you can expect to see our current adventures while traveling abroad here in Costa Rica, along with some archived events that have taken us up to this point in our journey. We'll be dropping new content on a weekly basis, 
but in the meantime, you could go ahead and check us out on Instagram or Facebook. Those along with the details of the rest of the video, including our travel, and most importantly, all those details about getting your pets approved through the USDA so you can bring them along with you. All of those links are going to be in the description. Until the next adventure, Pura Vida.